Hi guys and welcome to Liam's Tech Guide. Today I'm going to do a quick overview and setup process of the ASUS USB AC68 wireless Wi-Fi adapter. The reason I've ended up buying one of these is because I've always used to have Ethernet cable go into my PC, but I've just recently moved house and unfortunately I can't get the Ethernet cable up to the PC easily. I don't really want to be drilling holes in the walls, etc. So after a bit of research, I found this uh, Wi-Fi adapter on Amazon for about £55. I think that's sort of the going rate for this one. Uh, the reason I went for this is because we currently have BT Infinity 3. So it provides 200 megabyte download and 30 megabyte upload. Um, this promised to be more than capable to deal with those speeds. As you can see on the box down the bottom, on 5 gigahertz frequency it can do up to 1300 megabytes. And on 2.4 frequency it can do 600 megabytes. It's a plug-in USB 3.0 so there's no additional power. You just plug it in via a USB 3 port and it should give you the speed. I'm assuming you can plug it in via USB 2, but you won't get the speed with this because it isn't as strong for data transfers. Um, on the back, it just gives you a little overview of the frequencies again, and it's saying that you can instantly upgrade your Wi-Fi reception as it has some built-in antennas. So without further ado, let's get into the box. Oh, open it upside down. So the first thing you're greeted with is the USB dongle itself. So this is everything that's going to give you the Wi-Fi. Just get that out of there. So this is the adapter. Uh, USB 3 at the bottom. You can always tell because there's a blue connector on the bottom. And I believe these are, yep, yeah, these are the antennas. Um, so if you have a low signal, you can put these antennas up and it should ex um, expand the Wi-Fi range that you get with this. So I'll just put that to one side. Let's see what else we get in the box. So you get a hub. So here is a USB 3 hub again. So you can plug this in into the back of the PC and you can feed this cable to somewhere where you want the Wi-Fi antenna to be, where you think you may get a stronger signal. It isn't essential that you do this. You can plug the adapter straight into the PC, but a lot of USB 3 ports, especially on computers and PCs, are around the back. So you're better off probably using this and putting this in a more suitable location. Uh, what else do you get? So the usual paperwork, warranties, rubbish. And you also get a disk. If you don't have a disk drive, I have read that you can plug the adapter straight into the PC but you will get slow speeds. So my advice is to go to the ASUS website and look for the latest driver. As soon as you install the latest driver, it should give you the speeds uh, as advertised on the front. So without further ado, I'll plug this into the computer and we'll see the setup process. So I've now plugged in the Wi-Fi adapter via the USB 3 port on the back. Uh, just as I said before, USB 3 will produce better speeds. As soon as I plugged it in, I was greeted with a driver install um, and it installed automatically. And as you can see, it was plug and play and it connected to my Wi-Fi. I did do a quick speed test just to see what sort of speeds it would get without the latest driver. And it was only producing 7 to 10 megabytes. So I definitely think it does need a driver install as soon as you get it, as I am going to get around 200 megabytes. To update the driver, you can use the CD if you've got a CD drive, but a lot of PCs and laptops now don't have CD drives, so you will need to go to Google, just type in ASUS AC68 USB driver, click enter, and then you'll be greeted with a load of pages. You want the top one, and then you greet it with a picture so you know that it's the right one. You then want to go to support, driver and tools and then select your operating system because it does depend on your operating system as to what driver is going to work best for you. I've got Windows 10 64 bit so I'm going to click that and then you just need to click download. It's only a small file so I click download and I want to open it with Windows Explorer. As you can see it's downloaded in the top right corner. 
and then it's opened. It is a compressed file to start with, so you will need to uncompress it as I advise with all softwares because if you try and install via a compressed folder, sometimes it doesn't extract all the data properly and then you end up with a corrupt file. So to do this, you just need to click on the USB, click auto run, and then it'll ask you if you want to extract it or run it. Extract all, select the folder that you want it to extract to, and then click next. As you'll see, it will extract it. And then it'll open up a new folder. You know it's not compressed because on the folder before it's got compressed folder tools, on this one it hasn't. So then you want to click USB AC68 and then you want to click Auto Run again. And then it'll ask you for admin, just press yes. And then you're greeted with this screen. I'm not going to go through the process just because I have already done it, but all you need to do is click the top option which is the install driver it will take you through a couple of windows you just got to click next 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 and then you'll be greeted with a finished screen and then that's it there's no restart or anything like that so just to test to make sure it is hitting the speeds that it should be hitting just click exit I always use speedtest.net so we'll click the speed test on that and then you just got to click go and then hopefully we'll get the speed. So there we go, we've got nine milliseconds ping, which is great for gaming if you're an online gamer like myself. The download speeds, I'm meant to be getting around 200. It's gradually creeping up, there we go. It's gone over to 200 now, so that's perfect. Just check the upload speeds, sometimes it can be affected. I'm gonna get 20 to 30, and yeah, it's hitting 20, so that's fine by me. So I'd highly recommend this product. It's nice and easy to use, and it's great if you can't get an ethernet cable to your PC. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.